Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. This is Starsha and Tero. I'm so thankful that you came here. Um, to all my subscribers, before I get started, I just want to shout out to you. Thank you for being my ride or dies, for accepting me, for coming back for more, for all the likes, the comics, comments, the shares. You guys humble me every day and I appreciate you so much. I love you all. <laughs> Alright, so this is a deceased or connect to a deceased loved one. I'm like, my brain is like ahead of my words today. <laughs> Connecting to your departed loved ones. It is so full Sunday. We're kicking off. Um, I did a little video about what is coming up this week for readings and we're gonna follow it through to the end of April. And then in May, we'll switch it up and get a different rotation. But so full Sunday actually starts next week when I would, would be doing a connect to a deceased loved ones and we're moving the horoscope ones to Friday. So I figured this Sunday I would do the horoscope and the deceased loved one just to make sure I got them all out this week. <laughs> I don't want to short you guys. So it is a pickle pile. I got some edgy stickers this time. Think about your person um, and just whatever one feels like it's calling most to you, that's your pile. There's no right or wrong way to pick. Everybody has their own way to pick. You gotta find your own system. If you need more time, pause it. I'm gonna, I normally go through it twice, but I'm just gonna go through it once and hold it up for a minute. So pause it, vibe out to each sticker, and then go to the description box below. Find your timestamp, and I'll see you at your pile. Okay, so pile number one is tatted up Ariel, or Ariel, however you want to say it. Edgy stickers. <laughs> Tatted up Ariel. Oh, sorry, I'll give you a few more. And pile two is Tatted up Snow White. And pile three is tatted up Alice. <laughs> Cute, right? All right, go to the description box below, find your pile, and I will see you there. Hi, pile one. You picked up tatted up Ariel. <laughs> Super cute. All right, so you have a giant stack, but you know I like to do something live for these. So we're gonna get channeled messages, cards, and fortune cookie tarot for departed loved ones. All right. Think about your person, take a deep breath in, let it out. Hey you, <laughs> that's what I just heard. Hey you. I don't know what that means, but it might mean something to you. <laughs> oh I heard dinner's ready. Come and get it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Sheesh. Okay, spirit. <laughs> All right, let's do your fortune cookie tarot. Sorry I'm lower, I just have, this is my grandma's chair, but I didn't put the legs on because in the move I lost all the legs to my couch and chair. I can order them on Amazon, but you know what? It's kind of way more comfortable without the legs on. It's more hippie, like lower to the ground. Without the arm things, I have room to be Indian style. It's like a Zen chair, so. And I put this blanket on it. A modernized grandma's chair, but it's still grandma's chair. <laughs> this is my reading nook or writing nook. Stop saying yes to everyone. You're allowed to say no. You're overgiving. People are asking too much of you. And, and you've got to set some boundaries, the spirit is saying. Never give up on love. True love, I'm hearing. Don't cry, baby. Things will get better. Oh, heartache. I think you had a breakup or a separation or a divorce or some kind of heartbreak upset here. 
I'll be there on all the big days and important moments. Anytime you want them to be there, you don't have to worry because they're there. Weddings, births, engagements, surgeries, promotions, birthdays, holidays, vacations. They're witnessing it. Like, don't get creeped out. They, there's privacy. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? They're there. Keep your ideas to yourself. Someone wishes to try to stop you. Ooh, got a snake in the grass. Warning, warning, snake approaching, the spirit says. Caution, burr, 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 virgin alert, virgin alert. Why am I hearing space balls right now? I love that movie though. Yes, I like this person's taste. <laughs> death is just a part of life. Don't let my death stop your life. Don't worry about how old they were, the circumstances of what they died. They're like, I don't know why, I'm just feeling so free and oh, this person is very light and airy. I like it. But they're like, I'm cool with it. Like, don't worry, I'm going to get another round here. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. I will have more time on this earth is what I'm hearing. So this shell died. I did not, basically is what they're saying. You're the apple of my eye. So if you're their child, this is them like, you're perfection. Like, you're, my, you're mine. Like, I know I love God. Thank you, God, and everything. But you're mine, though. <laughs> like, you're my favorite. And if they're like a friend, like a best friend, they still love you. If they're your lover's spouse, they love you so much. This is like, ah, I just love you. To me, that's their vibe. It's like Chris... No, I didn't even mean to say Chris Rock. Poor guy. He's just getting talked about all over the place. Sneaking in my reading. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> Kevin Hart is what I meant to say. <laughs> no, wait. That's all I could think of was Kevin Hart. I saw you graduate with so much pride. So, if you were, if you had a child graduate from high school recently, they're like, Yay! Um, it could be promotion, could be college graduation, could be kindergarten graduation, could be doggy school graduation. <laughs> Love yourself. You're being so mean to yourself. It's not your fault. Like, I'm feeling like a hurt in the heart space. Like, you are good enough. You are worthy of love. Just because this person, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I heard this person is an asshole. <laughs> like, right, caught me off. I was like, this person, asshole. So this spirit was like, yeah, this person was a dick race. They did not treat you right. They didn't know your worth. They used you up and they spit you out. And that ain't your fault. They're an ugly, yucky person. The spirit is just like, they're not sugarcoating a good goddamn thing. I don't like them. They're idiots. And they can go somewhere. <laughs> That's this person's energy. They're very perfect, perfected. Oh my God. Protective of you. And they're mixing my words up. I forgave you long before I died. Oh, so if there's any bad blood or any arguments or like some people like really harp on that when they like have a really stupid argument and then someone they love dies and they're like, oh my God, the last thing I said, like, no. <laughs> they don't think about that. They see the big picture and how much they love you and stupid, petty little bullshit does not matter. Love doesn't die. Just the bodies. Laugh it off. They just want you to respond in a bad way. Yeah, the snake in the grass is trying to, like, make you look bad. Like, smearing your image, talking shit about you, poking you in public so you react, bringing up your insecurities so you cry and feel bad about yourself. Narcissistic, controlling mother effer. That's <laughs> basically the vibes this spirit is telling me. They do not like this person. Oh, hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. They're like, I love you, but I love you, though. Like, fuck that person. I love you. You love you. Focus a lot on loving yourself. That person's an idiot. Why am I doing this? Are they Italian? They're a freaking idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like doing this. <laughs> Woo, go for it, though. Okay. So you have something in your claw, whether it's an idea, 
business love. They're like, come on now. Let's do this. Very pushy, bossy a little bit. It's like an Italian grandmother or like Psh! with your purse or something. <laughs> I know you would have been great parents. I know you wanted me. I love you right back. Okay. So any miscarriages or loss of children, they're coming in to say, hey, I know how much you love me and I appreciate it and I love you too and I'm fine. I'm all good. It sucks that we have to be apart, but I'm all good. Maybe that's the happy bubbly vibes I'm getting. New things are coming for you and it will be very, very, very good for you. Yes, this fucktardo <laughs> needed to go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this person. I forgive you a second time, letting you know that they forgive you. Let it go. Let go of the past. Make peace with your inner child. Empty your suitcase because good things are coming soon. Again, yes. Make clear out old rom romantic traumas, childhood traumas, because you got like serious love coming in. You're going to like have a family with this person or do something with this person. If it's not about love, it's a work partnership and you got shit to do and you ain't got time to be harping it on. You're, Why am I talking so fast? Is this person from New York? I feel like they are or they just embrace that. When they talk. <laughs> always in my heart yeah as much as you think of me and miss me I do the same for you we are always connected in my heart you live and in yours I live very much family bond or just really close knit bonds <clears throat> sorry running from things is never the beginning of a success story it's okay to be scared but it's not okay to give up before you even tried Stop letting fear rule your life and make all your decisions. Take back your power and face things head on. You, you can do this. So you're letting fear stop you. You're making excuses to yourself, um, berating yourself, belittling yourself so you don't have the confidence. This person's like, enough. No, <laughs> they're very animated. I think this person could have had a TV show. They're so comical. Stop it. What the f are you doing? Come on, get with the program. What is this person? <laughs> I like it though. Feisty. I open doors and windows. Holy shit. So if you have windows and doors that open randomly, that's this person. They're trying to let you let the air in and clear out the bad juju in your space. This person was very much a believer is gotta raise the curtain and let the light in and let the air in. You know, it cleans out germs and <laughs> toxic juju. This person might have been a little spiritual. I wish we had more time. You know, they left long before they wanted to. They miss you so much. Hello, Kitty. I wish you would see yourself as I do. You're amazing, you're hilarious, and you have that it spark. You need to believe in yourself. You need to love yourself and take better care of yourself. And you need to be yourself and stop trying to be like everyone else. You were born to stand out. You're a star. This person is like, you are my shining star. Like, stop dimming your light to fit in when you're supposed to blind all these mother efforts out here. Blind them! <laughs> Brace for impact. Uh-oh. Challenges or problems are coming. I need you to prepare. Trust your instincts and stay true to who you are. You'll get through it. I'll help you. The snake in the grass. Warning. You carry my picture. I will always protect and guide you. You're recognizing that's something very specific. Candle flames. Okay, so you might have like had a candle flame shoot up or get lower and you were like, that's weird. That's a spirit or they mess with candle flames. You have gifts. Okay, so maybe you can see them in the flames. That's, what is that? Scrying? Something like that. You talk to me. You, oh my God. You talk to the stars. We hear you. It's basically them saying you talk to me and I hear you. Be fun and playful change those vibes you're giving off. We have shadow figure in reverse and worry war in reverse. Don't worry about the snakes and the evil juju. They're going to protect you. You're protected. 
All right, let's do your postcard from Spirit. Dear you, there is only one you and you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic. And that means you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. Now is not the time to conform to other people's standards or expectations. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Yes, this is the don't dull your light. Basically, you were meant to shine. You're meant to be a leader. You're meant to do something big. Like, you're thinking small time and you just start thinking big time is what the Spirit is saying. Where was I? Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have. Choose what your heart wants. And know that your purpose is yours alone. No one can claim your magic nor take it away. When you place authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and give them a prominent place in your awareness, extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. Love you always and forever. The more authentic you are to yourself, the more you follow yourself, the stronger you're becoming. The more you're stepping into that boss energy. The spirit is saying you continue to do that and you'll get stronger. Allow unlimited abundance. You're blocking your abundance with negative thoughts by thinking you're not good enough. Align your actions with your intentions. Your intentions is to get out of and get away from toxic people so don't act toxic to toxic people because that's just going to make the ending draw out so act for the outcome you want stay in the light and the light will lead you through it it's all going to work out fine just do your best it will be enough stay in the light it's all going to work out the way it's meant to everything's going to be okay don't don't let stress rule you don't let fear rule you Rise above. This person is really calling you. Now is the time I'm hearing. Feed your artist. Manifesting and doing. Feed your passion. Feed your artistry. Dive deep into it. Get lost in it. Lose time in it. Manifest with those positive thoughts. You're blocking yourself with negativity. So if you switch positive thinking and you raise your vibrations, those manifests, manifestations are going to come in for you quite nicely. Yeah, think about the possibility. Not that, oh, that's impractical. That's impossible. Forget those words. It is possible. <laughs> Everything is a possibility. Focus your attention on what could go right instead of wrong. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you get to enjoy and experience twice. So you're manifesting bad outcomes with your negativity. So you need to start manifesting the outcome you want with positivity. Take a risk. Roll the dice. <laughs> Take a chance. Every risk is a success when you're committed to learning and growing. Even when you strike out, you're just becoming a better person. You're just becoming stronger with your armor. Everything is a lesson and a blessing. Remember me by the happy memories we created. Don't think about their death. Don't think about them suffering sad none of that they just want you to picture them happy vibrant because that's what they are they have super hype energy i'm standing right next to you so they're literally right next to you <laughs> um there is no such thing as death they're very spiritual they're letting you know that yes the afterlife is something so prepare for that we are so connected family roots you could be connected by blood or just a strong deep connection I have a new understanding. They understand you better than they did on earth because in death you can see things in a way you couldn't when you were alive. The emotions are kind of uh, diluted a bit, so like anger and resentment and all that's gone. So you can just see the brokenness or what the people are really saying. So they see what you really mean when you're lashing out or when you're sad or when you really don't say nothing at all. I'm here helping you. Yes, the spirit is helping you very much. You're very heart sick. They want you to, 
to be positive, to think about the positive things and get really get out of this negative. It's just hindering your life. They want you to reach an agreement um, with yourself that you're going to continue to work on yourself and your positivity and reach a peaceful agreement by bringing the light and love into a situation. You're going to get clarity and some answers you need, but to get clarity, you, you really have to calm and center your mind. I heard take some nice long walks. <laughs> You are profoundly clairvoyant and God box. Yeah, you can talk to spirit. You can talk. You can communicate to this person. And I think this person is very open to it, but you're not. Um, if you're interested, you could dig into that and, and become a medium like me <laughs> if you want to. We have soul mating and divine masculine. So if you're divine feminine, you're calling in your divine masculine. The spirit is helping you. If you're the divine masculine, they're helping you raise that soul vibration and calling, helping you get ready for love here. Pulling in that soulmate for you. We have writing and protected. Maybe you're writing something. You're fearing telling your truth. The spirit is saying they're going to protect you. You're protected from the darkness. Just make sure you're doing things in the, in the light because when you don't, and when you don't do things for the right intention, it bites you in the butt. So as long as you're doing things for the good intention, you're going to be protected. But I think writing is something you're meant to do. Maybe writing about your experience or just writing in general. We have Tiny Triumphs and Sea Witch. Yeah, your triumphs are going to come small. It's not going to come all at once. But they see you every day working hard. And you're going to triumph every day. Just stay in the moment. Don't think too far ahead. And see which again. Referencing very deep emotions. Very deep hurt. But also that you're very gifted. You could be an empath as well. We have the star. Angel of hope. Eight of wands. Three of wands. And two of swords. So they want you to have hope. You're, again, the apple of their eye. You talk to the stars. They hear you. You have a new journey coming. You're headed in a new direction. It's not going to be easy, but you're headed in a new direction. They want you to prepare for that. Prepare for that snake coming in. Prepare to move on from things. And you you have to make a choice, but you're very uncertain on what choice to make. The Spirit is saying you're asking for help and making a, a choice. Let's get the closing statements Maybe they'll help you. We have take time to breathe and move your body. Again, getting out in fresh air and taking that time to really sit and meditate is going to help you clear out this uncertainty I'm hearing. We have patience and planning. Be patient. Trust your instincts. Rome wasn't built in a day. Prosperity is really starting to bloom and take off and it's just going to continue to grow from here. But you have that snake coming in trying to just disrupt your new start be leery of that be warned but you have partnerships coming and alliances they're helping you they're helping bring love partnerships work partnerships and they're going to help you um through this toxic snake like situation that you have brewing here <laughs> i hope this was helpful i hope they came in strong for you if you liked it if you want more of these in the future please give me a thumbs up below if you like my energy please hit the subscribe button I would love to have you and thank you so much for watching i appreciate and adore you all god bless love and light see you next time bye hi pile two you picked the tatted up snow white <laughs> all right here's your stack it's going to be a full reading but you know i like to do something live for you so we're going to get channeled message cards and we'll do some fortune cookie tarot as well all right, Spirit, what did your loved one need to know? Oh, hello. Another one. <laughs> That's dropping cards out. The energy is sizzling tonight. It's electric. All these spirits are hyped up. <laughs> that Phil Collins? I think. Something on the air tonight or something? <laughs> I don't know why that's playing in my head.
excellent drummer now. All right, let's get into it. I don't like who you're with. They don't treat you well and you deserve better. Damn, coming in hot and heavy. <laughs> you might want to watch pile one. <laughs> this might be the same bossy mother hen energy. You don't like your job, time to start fresh. Oh my God, you don't love your, you don't like your love interest. You don't like your job. They're calling you out, all aspects. You need to make up your mind soon. Oh my God. I'm sorry they broke your heart, but I promise the right one is coming. Oh, so I think you need to make up your mind soon about leaving this love interest, finding a new job. You're safe, don't worry. No matter what, they're going to protect you. Um, protect you from any kind of juju or nasty people. They're going to try to give you signs and warnings. Love is life's riches. Yes, the spirit is very right. The only thing that matters in life is loving someone and having life to share it together. Togetherness. <laughs> Relationships are hard work. As long as you both don't want to give up, a relationship can survive anything. Okay. They don't really like the person you're with. They think they're shitty. But ultimately, the decision is yours. Anything can work, but you're going to have to put the work in it. You can't just pretend to be happy like this forever. Or if you're thinking of someone where it's rather difficult to get this thing going, they're saying... All parts of love is difficult, but is it worth it to you? Are you willing to fight for it? Because if you're willing to fight for it, you can make anything work. I miss you so much. Yeah, they're missing you too. I'm proud of you. So they've seen you grow and, and accomplish a lot, and they're very proud of you. I'm sending you some good luck. Yeah, they're trying to help with this. Bad luck you're having. I think about our happy moments a lot too. So yeah, they're definitely recognizing you're thinking about them a lot, missing them a lot. They're missing you too and thinking about you. I send you rainbows. So if you've seen any rainbows, this is literally this person trying to say, hey, everything's going to be all right. Good omens. <laughs> Apologize and come back together. So there are people in your life that they really want you to... Family and togetherness is very important to this person. So whatever, like, family issues or people that are meant to be in your life and you just don't feel right about the situation, they're calling on you to make amends. Stop asking for advice. Ask yourself what you want. You're asking for too much opinions and too much input. And nobody can make a decision for you. You got to make it for you, this person is saying. Money is not everything. So you're very 3D based. You're thinking money and success is the meaning of life, I'm hearing. And they're saying, no, life is about love and experience. Money don't come with you when you die. You can build an empire on this earth and once you're dead, like pff, that, that empire doesn't mean shit. <laughs> the only thing that means shit is the people who you experience all those moments building that empire with the people you loved and sat at your table on holidays and grew up in your house and it, that is what matters thank you for visiting me so if you visit their grave or if you have recently or if you visited them when they were ill or um, when they were dying perhaps they're thanking you for it let out your truth. Stop being a people pleaser and make yourself happy. You're playing a role here. You're pretending to be happy with your job and your love. And you're miserable and you're breaking your own heart. And the spirit is saying, stop it. I left you when you were a child. But I've been with you all this time watching you become the person you are today. I never left you and I never will. I feel like this is a parent or grandparent energy. Look for me in the stars at night, for I am among them in complete peace. You might want to watch pile one. They talked about talking to the stars. <laughs> You're never too late or too old to start all over again. Age ain't nothing but a number. You can change your circumstance anytime you want. The spirit saying, stop making excuses. <gasps> it's Grandpa. I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of the person you've become. You work so hard, and I know it has not been easy on you. But I'm here helping you through it all. 
I'll never let you fall. I love you very much. So Grandpa's coming in to say hello. I love it when you're having fun and laughing hard, which you don't do enough of, I'm hearing. While you sleep, I kiss your forehead so gently. You're my favorite person to visit, and I love you so much. I'm still getting parent energy from some of this, too. True love is a give and take. Sometimes you're the giver, and sometimes you're the taker. But no matter what you are in the moment, it should always be returned when the roles switch. If it doesn't get returned, that's not true love. They're definitely calling out your love interest. Mommy and Daddy, I left you before I could speak my heart. But I want you to know I, I know you love me very much. I love you so very much too. I'm okay and the angels watch over me and one day we will get that time you long for. Please don't be so sad. I only want you to be happy. Don't worry, I'll always be with you. Oh, stillbirth or a miscarriage baby coming in. That's very specific. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh-oh, we have get over it. You're clinging to your anger and pride. It's clouding your judgment. You're making the wrong decisions. Stop, think, and learn. I know you're so much better and you, can, and you just can't see clearly right now. This is about family drama. All you can do is your best. If your best is not good enough for them, perhaps no one is good enough for them. Those who love you will value and appreciate an honest effort. If they're never satisfied, it's not because of you. It's because they are broken inside. Yeah, you you have a very toxic lover. They don't treat you right. They're trying to help you see that. Revenge, getting even, one-upping each other, the blame game, all of it is ugly on you. Stop this right now. I raised you better than this. Definite parent energy. They don't want you fighting with family. And if you're fighting with a, like a karmic energy, it's like literally getting nowhere. They're telling you to pull your energy back. Follow your instincts. Listen to your gut. You can read things better than you give yourself credit for. Trust yourself at all times. You have a gift. You have a foresight. Trust it. Let's do your postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all that and start having fun. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. When was the last time you got really loose, silly, and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some, some very funny comedy to make you laugh. Or call the one friend you know who will remind you of how ridiculously and delightfully giddy you can be. You will return f refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting. And you will be ready to receive in part perfect timing the bounty that Spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? Yeah. you got to lighten up. You're so tense. You're clinging to control that you're blocking your manifestations. You're blocking any angel guidance. You're blocking the Spirit's help. Awaken your authentic self and be true to you. Speak your truth. Be true to you. Stop faking it, they're saying. Surround yourself with your soul tribe, which is your family. Kiss and make up. People who make you feel good. People who make you laugh and raise your vibrations. You are a whole person. You are complete. You don't need anyone else to complete you. You don't need to be a couple. You don't need to be with anyone. You're strong on your own. You don't need to be with someone just to be with someone. And you can stand in your own power against this ugly, toxic lover. Trying your best is all that matters. The rest will fall into place. Your only job is to wake up, put a smile on your face, stay positive, and do the best you can. And what will be, will be. Gotta let the rest of it go. I know that's not easy. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> Bliss is worth creating from... Not for anyone else, but from you. Not to please anyone else, but to please you. Inflow with money. I think you're so focused on money and success that it's clouding your heart space. Don't look at it as practicality when making a love decision. Money and love is how fast is your heart ticking? 
that's like the dollar bills. <laughs> or the hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Pay attention to how you feel. You do need some space. Make space for the good stuff like they're saying. Clean out your suitcase because you got good shit coming in. You do need to make a decision. And it's a very hefty one. Stay or go, but it, it's time. You can't keep living like this. The spirit is saying you're you're suffering. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. Even pain, even heartbreak. We will be together again. Yeah, they will be right there with you, waiting when it's your time. If I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. Maybe they were material based as well and they're trying to warn you against that so you don't become 3d based and waste your life on things that really don't matter it was my time to go there was nothing they could do there's nothing you could do it's just the way the cookie crumbled there is no time where i am time is only on earth they are forever young i watch over you every day and they always will Productivity, trust, and attraction. Just keep being productive. Even baby steps are steps forward. Just keep getting up. Keep working forward on your positive thoughts and moving towards the outcome that you want. Trust the divine. Trust your instincts. Trust what you see with that third eye and not what they're squawking at you. <laughs> you are attracting abundance. You just got to be open to receive it. And clear out that heavy um, aura around you. Power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with the situation. Animals might be um, coming around you a lot. Animal guides bring comfort and peace. If you're very heart sick, you could find animals are trying to snuggle you. That's so spirit trying to comfort you, spending, sending you a spirit animal. Law of Attraction. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. So you're realizing you no longer fit in the world you built for yourself, and that's okay. I outgrew my world too. I started over. I created my whole new world. It's all going to turn out fine. It's a little bit of hell getting here, but it's always worth it. I'm zen as fuck right now. <laughs> you got this. Let your light shine and ask your soul. Yes, ask yourself what you want. Stop pleasing other people. Let your light shine. Stop hiding who you are. Stop hiding in here. Stop faking it. No, no. Spirit is saying. We have children and counseling. So, um, I think that child of yours is coming through to say you're going to have more children or children are a very big factor in your life they saw you have children um they might have grandbabies <laughs> or great grandbabies um they do want you to get some counseling though especially for these feelings of like self-doubt feeling like you're unworthy helping you learn how to think more positively red garden you're planting seeds and they will bloom, but you got to make sure you're doing things in the right reason, for the right reasons and in the light. Like, don't be vindictive because that's only going to bite you in the booty hootie later. Yeah, you're going in new directions. Change is coming for you. We have a resolution in the near future. You will make that decision. You will decide and peace will come again to you. They, you are a dedicated person, and this person is very dedicated to helping you get everything that you deserve and want in this life. You need to make those cuts. You can go at your own way. You can stand on your own two feet. You are your own hero or heroine. Knight of Cups. Embrace that spirituality because you can connect with them. Um... Also, embrace your self-worth. We have divine physician. Yeah, you need to heal and take that time to heal. And they really want you to maybe look into counseling. They're really pushing that. I think you have a lot of pain in there. And if this is what you're doing now and it's not working, they could be suggesting to try a new form of it. Or if it's going well, they're giving you the thumbs up. Keep going. Yeah, be a peaceful warrior. 
Don't fight for vindictiveness. Don't fight in the dark. Fight in the light. Fight for peace. All right, closing messages. Open your heart. Don't let your heart close. Don't give up on love. Balance will come. Everything will balance itself out. You will become stable again. But you are moving on. You are going to get away from um, this lover. I think they really are recognizing in order to have balance, you got to walk away from this person who doesn't treat you right. Yeah, and all the choices are up to you. Whatever you decide, they're going to support you. They're going to be there. But they want you to really make that decision for yourself and stop people-pleasing everyone. It's got to come from here and not here or what you think they want. Okay? I hope this is helpful. I hope they came in strong for you. If it if they did, if you liked it and want more in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, uh, feel free to join our tribe. We would love to have you at Starshine Tarot. And thanks again for watching. Love and light, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Hi there, Pile 3. You picked up the tatted up Alice. <laughs> All right. So here's your stack. Lots of juicy beats. But you know I like to do something live for you. So we're going to get some channeled message cards and some fortune cookie tarot. Ooh, hello. What messages do your loved ones need tonight, Spirit? What do we got? Let's see. <laughs> You're too hard on yourself. Just do your best. Oh, it's a common theme tonight. Self-sabotaging with doubt and fear and lack-like mentality. Hey, boy, you're fresh to death lately. You go. <laughs> or girl. You're, you're looking good. They're noticing. <laughs> Love should scare you a little because when it's real... Life without it is the scariest outcome. You might have got shook recently. They're like, that's how you know it's real. You get shook. <laughs> Keep going. You got this. You're working hard on something. I feel like it has something to do with your career. Smile more. Got a sourpuss face I'm hearing. <laughs> or a resting bitch face. I'm sorry my death caused you so much pain. I feel very guilty about that. Like, damn it, if I could just erase that part, I would. <laughs> it's not your fault. No matter what happened to them, it's not your fault. I'm arranging a meet cute. <laughs> so they're I think they're arranging a love interest in your life. Or help is coming soon. They could be sending someone to help you that you just bump into someone. It could be someone you know or don't know. Um, to help you with something. Maybe we'll get more on it later. <laughs> Spend as much time with those you love as as much and as often as you can. Yeah, don't don't isolate family. Don't isolate friends. Time is very short on this earth. Don't spend it working by yourself all the time. You know, you got to go visit people and spend time. I just want you to be happy. If you're happy with it, I'm happy too. So, if you're happy with your situation and you can live with it, this person's like, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'll support whatever your heart desires, but I really want you to make sure it's what your heart desires. I loved your laugh. It always made me laugh, too. You have an infectious laugh, and they want to hear it more often. There was nothing you could have done to stop it. Yeah, you're really, you feel really guilty about this person's death. There's nothing you could have done. It's out of your control. I know you don't feel well lately and I'm here. Oh, so if you're if you're struggling with something or if you had a virus, they're, them, they're recognizing they're here helping you. Hey girl, look at your glow up. Woohoo! Oh my god. They, so there could be feminine and masculine energy. They're both um, representing people are looking good out here. <laughs> 
I have your baby safe with me. So if you lost a child, they're with the soul. They're keeping them company. It's me, a daughter, a sister, a young friend, a teen, or a cousin, younger female energy. So if you lost a daughter, your daughter is coming through. If you lost a sister or just a young friend, a teenager, cousin, any younger female energy, they're coming in to say they're okay. You need to see a doctor and stop putting it off because you don't feel good. Something's wrong. Make that appointment, <laughs> they're saying. Love will come and go, baby, but you can't let it crumble your whole world when it does end. It just means that wasn't the one for you. Be patient. Be kind to yourself. Everything is a learning curve. Love will come and it will stay when it's meant to. Don't rush it. You're anxious for a partner. The spirit is saying you get very frustrated when it doesn't work out and you think it, it was the one or, or didn't go the way you wanted it to. But it was never meant to. It was just meant to be a lesson and you can't beat yourself up about it forever. Unfortunately, we cannot avoid pain and hurt in this life. We can't always see people's true colors or true intentions ahead of time. That's not a fault in you. That's a lesson you needed to learn to do better in life. Like I just said, pain is a tool, baby. Collect each tool in your box and keep going. Take the lesson, drop the pain. It's time to put all that love you give out back into yourself. Take time to rest and pamper yourself. You need to take a break. You don't feel good. You need to go to the doctors. You're not feeling good mentally. Maybe you need to get some counseling, get some rest. It's not about dating people. It's not about finding love right now. It's about loving yourself and getting healthy. I know you feel lost right now. I know you don't know what to do and you're trying to do what is best for everyone. But honey, like always, you forget that you have needs too and you have to... And you have faced many decisions in your life and it worked out before. You'll make the right decision. It's time to put yourself first. You're not the creator of the universe. You're not in charge of everybody. You're only in charge of you right now. Stand tall. You let them get away with too much. Time to speak up. Time to stand up. Know your worth. Don't take less. And you deserve so much better. I feel like that has to do about a lover who's just not good to you or friends. Choose yourself. Choose happiness. Speak up for yourself. Stand your ground. Fight for what you believe in. It's time. You got this. Yeah, you need to make a stand here. I'm an angel on your shoulder watching over you every, each and every day. You're my pride and joy and I love you so much. They will always protect you. I miss you too, but I promise that I'll be there when it's your time. Do not fear death, my love. I'll take care of you. Until we see each other again, choose your happiness. I love you. Strong, choose your happiness. Your happiness. Your happiness. Stand up for yourself. Speak your truth. Repetitive themes for this one. It's not okay to pretend you're doing okay, yet be this broken inside. It's not okay to stay because of what others will think or say. You deserve real love. You deserve to have a light heart. This pain will end and one day, my love, this pain will end one day, my love, but only when you stop choosing this painful life and move on. You're playing a part. You're living your role, not your soul. That's no bueno. No. Stop it. This is what I'm saying. Turn this bus around. <laughs> you will always be my... Hooked on phonics maybe perhaps did not work for me. You will always be special to me. You will always be my favorite person. You will always be my first pick. You will always be in my heart and always be in yours. You and me against the world always. Maybe that's something you said. You and me against the world. They're still here. We never got to meet on this earth, but I felt your love for me and I love you so, so much right back. Please don't be sad anymore. I'm okay. I'm safe. We'll be together again one day. That's another baby coming through. Heads up penny. So if you're seeing heads up penny around, that's this person. Or if you're seeing rainbows, that's them trying to send you good luck, good omens. So get your postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, let us ask you, 
Are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday, moment-to-moment -moment experience? Thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go chasing a magic it out there, but it never could be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up, and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside you. Joy and happiness and fullness come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this so when the time comes, you will be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful even for tears and loss. For they mean you have lived, really lived. Jump into it all and love every minute. We all love you like crazy over here. You gotta live joy. I am worthy of happiness. I am happy. I'm going to smile today. It's a decision to have joy every day. Set your intentions with heart and soul. To manifest, it has to come from a place of love. Look for signs and synchronicities. This person is sending you, could be times on the clock, could be those hands up pennies, again, rainbow. Lots of signs here. You are capable, you can do this. You are capable of starting over a million times, of getting through any adversity. You are stronger than you ever give yourself credit for, they're saying. Anxiety lies. There is no doom in coming and you're managing everything just fine. You struggle very much with anxiety and it's getting the better of you. Um, maybe that's what they're expressing you're not feeling well about. Maybe you're having a lot of anxiety attacks, losing a lot of sleep. Limitations inspire innovations. So you're limiting your thoughts. So you can't see your clear way out if you don't believe you're ever going to get out. Once you believe you know you can get out of a situation, you start thinking more about possibilities on how to get out. Your past supports your future. Everything that happened in our past, good, bad, and indifferent, creates who we are today. And it's all meant to get us to be the people we're meant to be at that exact moment. So although we let go of our past and we clean out our suitcases, it's still very much a part of who we are. No shame. Yeah, be authentic. Speak your truth. Stand up for yourself. Follow your own heart here. You're going to surprise yourself or they have a surprise coming for you or there's a surprise meeting here. I am surrounded by loving animals. So their pets are up there with them. Your pets are with them. This person loves animals. I think they just hang out mostly with all the spirit animals. I am sorry, please forgive me. They are asking um, for forgiveness, especially about their death, uh, how trauma was, any beef or arguments, anything that they did wrong to you. They're just, please, can we, can you just forgive me? <laughs> we are soulmates. Yeah, you were meant to have time together and you're, you will find each other again on the other side. The earth is our school. We all learn hard lessons. We have been together in dreams, so this person visits you in your sleep. I was met by so many loving people. Their ancestors, friends, family members, people in general, they're not alone. You're very strong. You forget your own strength. They want you to remember how much you have stood through. You need to ground yourself, balance, center, zen out so you can see things clearer. And be in it for the long haul. Your longevity depends on your thought and how much you're willing to put work into it. If you want things to work, you got to keep working at it. The minute you quit, that's when it, it all crumbles. Workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. So maybe you're going to be a spiritual teacher, self-help person one day, or this is what you're currently doing. Archangel Michael, you're working very closely with the powerful Archangel, who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. 
Wow. So you are guard guarded by the angels because you're meant to speak your truth. Inward revolution and let go. That inward revolution is I need to choose for myself. And I've been living for to please other people and not myself and I can't do that anymore. And I think you're letting go of toxic people and the past way of doing things. Talk to your angels. They want you have spirit guides. You have spiritual gifts. Your guides are calling you to get to know them more. Um, you could be writing a book here. This is all something meant to do. Or you could be an author. My home is my castle. Come home to yourself. Bring that solid, I am home. I am safe. <laughs> this is the mantra you need to repeat to yourself every day. I am home. I am safe. I am solid. I don't need anyone but me and spirit. We got this for a dynamic team. <laughs> and you can do anything. You gotta really believe it. And sometimes you have to say it for a while before you start believing it. Weaving flowers. Yeah, you're trying to bloom. You, Although you think you're giving up the spirits, like you're always trying to reach up to the dirt. And they love that about you. And they're always going to help pull you. Right now you're hanging out, really need to make a decision on where to go from here. Luck is changing, they're trying to bring you good luck here. You're going to get recognition in this life, or you are, you do get recognition. You could be famous, but I feel like you're going to do something big, especially with a book or self-help. Five of Cups, they're very, recognizing you're very sad, you're feeling, feeling lost. You're drowning in your sadness. This is what they want you to help help feel better about. See a doctor about. You are so spiritually strong. You are so spiritually gifted. And the minute you realize that and awaken that and embrace that, nothing will crumble you ever again. Sacral chakra. Yeah. That's that third eye, that soul connection. You're a gifted one. Material and spiritual prosperity, you can use it to manifest as long as you use it positively. But you have so much mental conflict, you can't manifest. You can't see clearly because you've got too much going on here. You need to silence the mind. Take a step back. Take a vacation. Take a rest. Take a step back so you can see things better. You are protected again with the Archangel Michael. You're protected from any negativity Anything that's going to block the spiritual destination they're trying to get you to reach. But basically the spirit really wants you to, to really focus on this pain, this depression, and go get a doctor checkup if you've been feeling unwell. I hope it was a good message. I hope they came in strong. If you liked it, if you want more in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Have a good Sunday. Bye. <laughs>